This is like boxes within boxes. Some people say this character looks like me. Jesus Christ. My life's really weird. <laughs> it's not that heavy. <laughs> okay, I know a few of you have this already. How hard is it to put together? It's it's easy. Okay, cool. I didn't know if it was going to be in a bunch of uh, pieces. Um, everybody say hi and bye to the babies. Oh, okay. It's this, I got a certificate of authenticity. I got number 245 out of 1,200. Wow. 245. That's pretty good. <laughs> um, even the styrofoam is branded. doesn't want to go in <gasps> okay 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 be firm but don't force wiggle if needed okay armless queen she looks gorgeous <laughs> oh these are magnetic they were trying to stick together okay so she's probably looking down the sight of her gun so i'm gonna assume this is the side easy so easy <laughs> and then the little tiny hammer, which is very cute. If you guys act up during tonight's stream, I will get you with this hammer. You're very small in my computer, so it will hurt a lot. Damn, I wish I had the arches she has on her eyebrows. <laughs> Here we go. She's so tan compared to me, at least. <laughs> this is really cool. I can't believe that there's a statue of a character that has my face. She even has my little nose bump. My big weird ears. And like, whatever this is, I think is actually kind of unique. Where's my toy gun? I'm not sure where that is actually. I should have got that out. Ah! All right, she lives there now. We did it. You definitely made it when you're into made into a statue. <laughs> Um, yeah, they asked about like merchandise stuff. That was the thing they did. They did it all uh, legally. I'm blonder than her. Now I am. I mean, she has my, my natural hair color, which is like a dark blonde. This is really cool. No, we need an Abby Nendoroid. Ellie got a Nendoroid. I mean, you can have an Abby Funko Pop. I'm just not a, a I'm not a, a popper, a, a pop, pump, punk, Funko Pop understander. Yeah, they should make more Abby merch. Oh, this goes this way. I did it backwards. Everybody's always like, Jocelyn is just Abby without muscles. But like, this is like an inch, an inch like circumference 
Like, my arms are definitely bigger. I don't know where they're getting this. Okay. <laughs> okay, one moment. I want. I gotta put the box somewhere so the cats don't scratch it because they're um, the, they hate things that um, I like. Um, I give this statue um three hammers and four burritos from the mess hall. The golf club for Abby. <laughs> If they made extra arms for it, what would I like to see? Just like burrito in hand. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's just like. <laughs> I actually have not played Hotline Miami, but I like the music from it. I mean, they should make statues of all stages of Abby. They should make one when she's like a teenager or however old she is. Uh, 15 and then 17. Would I like to be in a different game, voice act, a new character? Or just be, play Abby. So I'm not actually an actor. <laughs> um, I, I, I cannot act. Um, I, I am not an actor. I'm a game developer. I spend most of my day sitting at a computer. Um, but I mean, if somebody wants to let me on their set, bless their heart, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I think it would be cool to do a cameo in the in the Last of Us series. If I change the story of how I became Abby's face every time. <laughs> It would cause civil unrest. People already like, um, like cannot keep my story straight online. It's kind of funny to see what people say about me. Like never in like a malicious way, but like they just get mixed up. <laughs> like they're not saying anything bad. It's just like wrong. <laughs> sometimes I like, like correct them. But sometimes I'm like, okay. <laughs> How often do I get asked about Abby? Do I like the questions or do I find them annoying? I get asked about Abby pr probably like every maybe every stream every other stream um i don't really mind if people ask um and i don't i want to say it's annoying it's just like as long as people aren't mean to me about it then it's fine because sometimes people want to come in and like act like i did the stuff that abby did i don't really know if they actually believe that or if they're just being weird but <laughs> it's, it's hard to tell sometimes uh it has died down a bit chiloko's right like we used to um it used to be a lot more. Uh, it's chilled out a lot. What is Abby's favorite color? My favorite color is blue, but she looks like she would like like green or something. Yeah, sometimes it's fun to just like mess with the weirdos. Um, people get mad <laughs> sometimes though. You think Abby would like yellow? I could see that. I used to like yellow a lot. I don't really like it so much anymore, but like I like it like with like gray, like gray and yellow, I think is like a cool color scheme. Yeah, some people like hate Abby, but they're not like mean about it. They're like, I can obviously tell that I obviously know that you are not the character. And uh, even though I did not like it, like you seem nice. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> does kid Abby look more like me? Um, she, she does look like me, like when I was that age. They used like photos of me from when I was a teenager as reference for her. Um, so she does look like me when I'm a kid, but she doesn't dress like me. She wears a, a, um, a, a shirt that I don't like. I hate Abby's brown shirt that she wears in her like first flashback when she's with her dad. I just, I don't like how short the sleeves are. I don't like really the color. It looks fine on her. It doesn't look bad. Like it's a good design. It's just like that shirt bothers me for some reason and I would not wear it. And I think I'm like, I, it never really bothers me. Like other people's outfits don't bother me, but for some reason, like with Abby, I'm a lot more critical. <laughs> Kid Abby has negative drip. Do I hate Abby for killing Joel or hate Ellie for killing her friends? Um, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle. I just really feel bad for everybody. Honestly, it just everybody's just has like a really hard life. And it looks like the world they live in is not one I would ever want to live in. And I don't I think it's very difficult to be completely morally just in that world. Would I like to live in the Horizon world, though? Only because those people are like almost like superhuman level warriors. <laughs> And I want to ride on a robot dinosaur and fly on a robot pterodactyl. <laughs> Wait for 2037 for T-Lu-3. I, I mean, I heard 30, uh, 30, 20, but it's still a ways off. No, I haven't. I haven't played Horizon Forbidden West in a while. I've been like playing Kirby and okay. I have, I have a story, but this is going to, this is a story for the grownups. This is a story for the adults. Um, if you're a kid, you might just want to close your ears for a second. Um, when I put my hand down, it means the story's over. Um, so I cleaned my shower this weekend and it was fucking crazy. Holy shit. I was, 
it, I just wanted to do like a deep clean on it. And um, I went to the hard, well, I saw this YouTube video of this lady and she was like, use toilet bowl cleaner with bleach that like was like a clean gel. And so I went to the, the hardware store and I got it. And then I just like took the toilet bowl cleaner and put it into all the crevices of the shower and waited a couple hours and came back and scrubbed it. And now my shower is so clean. And then I took a shower and I was like, I feel like I'm in a hotel. This is crazy. Yeah, it was it was a very adult conversation. <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. As I get older, I just love cleaning and get really excited about cleaning. And, um, and sometimes I'm like, oh, I have to go to a party, but I really just want to organize my closet. <laughs> and then the other thing I wanted to tell you guys, I've been trying to keep track of the things I wanted to tell you guys. I have a new theory about harmony and beats and why they hate each other. Um, I noticed that Harmony is always trying to clean beats and sometimes she leaves food for her. And so I was like, I think that maybe in Harmony, the type of cat she is, they tend to be more dominant, but she's like five years younger than Beats. And Beats is, Harmony came into the home, but Beats was already here. And so Harmony's like, leaves food for her sometimes and is always trying to clean Beats. So I was like, oh, I, maybe Harmony thinks that Beats is her kitten. And then the other day I saw Beats like aggressively, like jump off my desk onto Harmony and then start cleaning her. And I was like, wait, is this like a, a power struggle where they're like, no, I'm the mommy and you're the baby and I'm going to clean you. And then the other one's like, no, I'm the mommy and you're the baby and I'm going to clean you because you don't know what you're doing. So that's what I think they're actually, I think that's what's actually going on. I'll let you guys know though. I'll keep you updated on that. I'm the baby and she's the mommy. They don't like, they're like, they have like a love hate relationship with each other. I don't know. I feel like Abby would work in like a museum or something if she didn't feel the need to get super strong or like a librarian because she likes books. Harmony actually is the baby because she's only like three or four and Beats is almost nine. They are characters. Okay. Do you guys want to start playing this game? <laughs> <laughs>